Welcome everyone to season 2 of the WCC episode number 8. I'm your host, Ryan FIFA, and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. So guys, we're finally into the round of 16. As you can see, our opponent for today is going to be Shakhtar. And guys, we're going to be doing one episode, or one game per episode from no one going forward. We're very close to the end. And of course, guys, it should be very intriguing. If you guys have been following the series, be sure to definitely go back and check it out. And of course, leading up until, of course, the knockout stages. Should be very interesting, but we're going to be pretty much be doing one game per episode. Going in because it's very, very close and uh, it should be very entertaining for you guys i'll try to make sure we squeeze as uh pretty much all the entertaining stuff into each episode now with that said guys as you can see we're gonna be getting shocked like i stated before we're gonna be playing a 4-2-3-1 formation and of course it's gonna be Lewandowski up front leading the line with royce and you can see the blasikowski on the wing so it should be very interesting especially playing at home to see if Shakhtar give us a hard time especially being that it's a knockout game and we pretty much don't have any more uh, chance to be honest there's no second legs is here or now and of course both teams will be looking to go for this one they're playing the same formation as well a 4-2-3-1 formation so let's see which squad is actually stronger so it's actually shocked to kick this one off guys and we wanted to definitely make sure we put our stamp on the game from the get-go so we wanted to make sure we dictate the game as much as we can and with that said there's only one thing you can do to do that guys is pretty much put pressure on the opposing team and that's exactly what we were doing try to force them into making some mistakes and you can see that mistake come just two minutes into the game Royce picks the ball up and look at that through pass they're splitting the defense open you can see a lot of the, the defenders is out of position so that pretty much gave us a clear chance to go for the finish shot there and finish that one off pretty well in the fourth minute giving us the first goal of the game this maybe spelled disaster for Shakhtar not quite sure but it definitely did when Lewandowski chipped this one in guys in for Blasikowski he lets it bounce hit one time and it goes off the post and into the back of the net in a 13th minute to give us the second goal of the game what a way to take a strike uh really good strike there and what a pass in but look at the strike there under the keeper and into the back of the net off the post now Blastikasi push forward guys and we're going to try and force cut into the box he skipped past the defender goes for the finish shot I thought that was definitely going in, but you can see from the replay, it just goes over the bar. I think if it was on target, it would definitely went into the back of the net. The keeper reacted late. But look at the the, the nice, nice uh, replay there. As you can see, the linesman blocking that one. But nevertheless, guys, we kept pushing forward. We wanted to definitely score some more goals. And you can see, again, some nice footwork again, but the defender just get a hold of it. Royce trying to win the ball. He did, but it comes off a defender. It flips off Lewandowski. Out back on the wing, Royce picks it up and he definitely wanted to make his way into space. That's exactly what he did and let this one rip into that bottom corner there as you can see. And of course guys, that means it's the third goal of the game in a 38 minute. What a goal there from Marco Royce. He's been outstanding too as well. All the players have been really outstanding. And again, we push forward a nice pass here into Lewandowski. He cuts it back, goes for the strike on goal. It was definitely on target and the keeper there with a superb save putting that one out for a corner kick. Look at the replay there again and look at the save. A very powerful strike too as well. And from the corner, as you can see, Royce crossed that one in and it's Matt almost meeting that one, guys, in the 44th minute to put that one away. A very strong edit because you can see he was quite a distance away uh, in the 18-yard box and he managed to get ahead onto that one. So as you can see, guys, we're going to the half. 4-0 up. What more can you ask for from your team? They're definitely demonstrating that they definitely want to be into the next round. And of course, you can see, guys, it shows from the stats. So you can see we're very tight as far as position goal. But you can see 9 shots, 7 on target. And we're completely dominating Shakhtar at the moment. They definitely have to try and find themselves in the second half if they want something from this game. So we'll be looking to do the same thing, guys. And that's exactly the mentality we want to keep going through the rest of the series. Now, with that said, guys, it's going to be, of course, ourselves to get this one off. And we wanted to kind of get the passing game going. So we pick this one up, guys. As you can see, in the 53rd minute, what a through pass there out on the wing. As you can see, the for Gondogan. He's going to cut forward, cross this one into the box for Royce. Royce goes for the one time strike. The keeper makes a save. Gondogan again with a follow up header. And of course, the keeper took it very well. The keeper, however, guys, pass this one out. And you can see we managed to win the ball. But piss check on the bar here. He's going to push forward, trying to create some space. You can see we're taking our time. He chips this one into space here for Lewandowski, who cuts it back. And he goes for the outstanding finish there, guys. But unfortunately, 
unfortunately it just goes right past that post there as you can see not that far off and at this point i felt like yeah maybe we can definitely try and see if we can get some really skill goal for you guys and that's exactly what i was looking to do since we we're so far up but unfortunately that one just didn't pay it off we continue pushing forward dog on dog and you can see passing the ball around very well roy steering the ball passing it out for schmester as you can see there he's going to cut into the box and let this one rip into that bottom corner again pretty much the same side of course that loan um Marco Roy scored from uh, minutes earlier, but unfortunately, guys, it's not as good, I would think, in my opinion. But nevertheless, it's still a good goal. But we push forward again and piss check on the ball again this time, guys. And he's going to push forward, trying to create some space. You can see they were closing us down very well, especially in the second half. They were definitely doing a good job. They were sitting back quite well, so it made it very difficult. But Royce, as you can see here, push forward, trying to get a shot off. And the, the defender, you can see, definitely stepped and was all over him and blocked it. Now, I don't know what is this, what this is, guys. Uh, if someone can tell me, please tell me. Obviously, it's some issue with EA. But look at that. You have a player leave the line, and he comes and make a challenge when I haven't even touched the ball. Then he goes for it again, a slight tackle there, and he keeps going, and it goes out, almost going out there, guys. You can see him running down, trying to get a hold of it, and it still goes out. At this point, I felt that the referee would have called for a throw-in. And you can see the, the player <laughs> is still going, slide tackling all over the pitch. And we finally swipe at it, and it goes out. At this point, I feel like it was definitely going out. And actually, guys, that was not the case because you have some players that were actually warming up on the sideline that actually came on the field and was kicking the ball. And it, at the same time, they went in and made a substitution, which brought everything back to normal, which was very, very, very fascinating when that happened. I would, I couldn't even keep myself from laughing, to be honest. But nevertheless, they were trying to do some nice one-two passes to go forward. We definitely stepped in and broke that up. Royce in the bar here, spots the run, as you can see there for Blasikowski, who let it bounce and hits it one time into that top corner. What a ridiculous strike. You'll see again from the replay here, let it bounce, maybe come off his chest, and he just hit it into that top corner. Corner. so guys that was pretty much all the goals that we have in this one six goals six unanswered goals Shakhtar had no remedy for us at all we were just completely dominated them we were definitely up for this game we showed them we wanted it more and of course guys hopefully we can definitely keep that going into the rest of the game you can see no shots zero on target zero for them guys we even took back some of the possession 17 shots 13 on target and 54 percent of the ball and of course Marco Royce was the man of the match with a 9.8 Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one guys, but I wanted to show you guys before we go, you can see we finally move on from the round of 16. The most important thing for me guys, our interesting thing, is Manchester City is out. And also as you can see, Real Madrid is out. And Chelsea is out. This is such an easy game guys. Make sure you stay tuned to see who is going to be finishing. Would it be, of course, ourselves? Who would it be? Would it be Barcelona? Make sure you guys stay tuned. The quarterfinal is next, guys. Be sure to stay tuned. And I'd very much appreciate it if you guys would definitely leave a like on this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe if you're new here. And, of course, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm your host, Jiraiya. And, of course, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Lazio will be the next target. Peace.